Hey everyone, Sinead here from Sinead Holly Painting. Um, today I'm very excited to show you my next um, completed insert of my travel journal around Latin America. Uh, this is now the third insert of the collection. And I think this one's my favourite one so far, so I am super excited to share it with you all. Um, this book covers, starts in Peru and it goes through to Bolivia and Chile and Panama. So yeah, it covers a lot of countries this one. So I'm just going to get started. The front I stitched into here, which I really like the effect that it gave. So yeah, I've got some money here from, uh, amazing money from... Bolivia, which I really love. Really love keeping all the money actually, it's a really cool thing to have. And um, inside this little envelope, I put something that is not so exciting right now, but I think in the future it will be <laughs> to look back on. This is my flight ticket from uh, Bogota to Panama because we flew across. Um, well, I flew from Chile to Panama because it's a long way to go by, by both by bus, and yeah. So, yeah, on this front page, I just have uh, some maps and some little collaging and bimbiendo al sueño, which is my favorite Spanish saying on the trip, which means living the dream. Um, yeah, and then, oops, okay, so then, yeah, now we're in Cusco, it's me and my dad, he was still there in Cusco with me, um, he came over to visit for Christmas and a little bit of January, and it was really fun to be able to hike Machu Picchu with him and, you know, spend some time together, and yeah, still carrying on with hashtag drawing will, <laughs> although this one was done from memory, as at this point we were traveling separately for a week where he went with his friend and I went with my dad. So I think I did all right, from memory. <laughs> and yeah, this is when we went to Machu Picchu and um, yeah, printed out some pictures of my sprocket, which I love. I'll say much for this trip. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, wrote, I just wrote a lot about the trip to visit. Um, yeah, very interesting place, quite crazy. A little bit of an adult theme park, but um, I guess that's to be expected. Um, yeah, this is day 100 of hashtag drawing well, so I thought I'd do something different and I did a circle freehand, as you can tell, <laughs> and uh, tried to draw him within the circle. It doesn't really look like him too much, this one. And yeah, right, right at the beginning of the year, uh, when I was in Cusco, I had some time just to make a little studio and, um, you know, just be still for a bit. Because when you're traveling, it can be quite intense moving around all the time. So I just put on here um, a lot of notes from a... Uh, an online retreat I took part in. It happens every year, it's called Women Unleashed. And there's many videos you can watch from art making, to journaling, to diary keeping, to more movement based things, including Nia, which is something I never did before. But Nia is awesome. It's a combination of dance, yoga, and martial arts. And wow, I really love that. So these next pages are all from the retreats. So this is from one of the painting classes. Um, painting my muse with the left and the right side of the logic and the more creative. Uh, I really enjoy the process of writing first on the page and then painting on top. Um, so a lot of writing from the unconscious. And yeah, my message was to keep going. Yeah, <laughs> keep going there. Um, I'm on the right path, so that's good. That was a nice message to get. And this is a really great thing to do at the beginning of the year because there's a lot of intention setting and yeah, just really inspiring uh, videos. So um, yeah, I will put the link below to the Women Unleashed 
uh, page so you can see. I think they do one in the summer as well, so there might be one coming up <clears throat> later on in the year. So yeah, these are more notes I wrote. And again, another painting exercise <coughs> that we did on one of the videos. Um, yeah, and they, I really like this little quote that they said, I wrote it here. And the day came when the risk it took to remain tight in the bud was more painful than the risk it took to blossom, which uh, I just thought was really beautiful. So yeah, you can see I stitched actually all along the tops of these pages with red thread. It's the connection. Uh, they use it a lot in women's circles to connect women, so the red thread. And they used it a lot in the Women Unleashed as well. So I thought it was nice to have that on the journal. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and then this is a uh, different angle of drawing wheel. <laughs> um, it's always a challenge to try and get different angles. Um, we're back traveling together now, so I can draw him. Well, from this point, we were back traveling together, so I could draw him from life again, which was nice. Um, and this is when we took, I wrote a lot here, because when we took uh, the amazing journey to Bolivia and how we got, how we got there through train rides and yeah really awesome train ride actually um, through fields full of flamingos um, which is why I did this page here um, to celebrate the flamingo <laughs> there was literally thousands and thousands of them it was amazing like kind of wet plains I guess desert -y with mountains and the train was going straight through it so we got to just watch all these flamingos in their natural habitat, which was really special. And I felt really privileged to be able to see that. Um, they're very interesting creatures. <laughs> and then, <clears throat> so yeah, now we're coming in to taking a trip from Bolivia through the salt plains and into Chile. It's a three day tour. We took in a four by four, there were six of us all together. And that was really amazing. So here I printed a picture of, of the the salt desert and how it reflects. I don't know how you can see see that. Yeah, how it reflects into the the sky reflects into the earth. So yeah, it's just amazing. I don't know if you can see anything like that anywhere else. Um, here I did a little kind of photo collaging of the trip. Um, yeah, we climbed a lot of crazy high mountains as well. <clears throat> well, not mountains, but kind of canyons, I guess. Uh, and they're very high up, like 5,000 meters, which for me is very difficult um, to be at that height. That height. So the ticket into one of the national parks, we had to drive through protected land to get to the border of Chile, which was um, in the desert. And we stayed in this really cool like train um, hostel before we took the tour. That's just a little leaflet I put there. This is all our crew from the tour and obviously many llamas there. These are the baby ones. Look how cute they are. I think you can see them better now. And yeah, just some of the mountain you can see in the distance here. Yeah, me and we'll build our own sculpture, which is really cool, out of rocks. Uh, it's very hard going because cause it was so high. Um, even just going to pick up a rock and carrying it was so much work. You just felt like you were going to pass out. Well, I did anyway. <laughs> and yeah, and I wrote here, Bolivia, unexpected and breathtaking. As we drove through the desert, through the border control with Chile, which is literally in the middle of the desert and was like a big um, metal warehouse. So it was really cool. Very James Bond. Best border crossing, yeah. Um, and yeah, we were very surprised by Bolivia because a lot of people we met traveling have always, you know, said they didn't like Bolivia or they didn't like people when they're friendly, but actually we found it to be the opposite. Really cool country. This one I called Werewolf Will. Werewolf, uh, Werewolf Will. A little bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> I think it was a full moon that day, so. That was a blue moon, yeah, it was a really big blue moon at the end of January, yeah. So I thought that kind of made sense. And now, yeah, now we're in Chile. We were first in San Pedro, which is a town in the desert, just after we crossed the border. Um, we did some crazy cycling there through the desert and through these kind of canyon type um, rocks formation. It's very Star Wars anyway. 
Um, but yeah, suddenly it's so warm because even though Bolivia was sunny, it was so high up, which is cold. So I was so happy to be down. I was very happy to be getting down towards sea level. And then we made Santiago, um, which we were only meant to be in for a few days, but ended up being there for like two weeks because it's a really cool city. Um, just really cool vibe, really cool people, very creative, very passionate, a lot of dancing on the streets, it's like amazing dancing, salsa and all kinds of different um, swing dancing as well. Really, really, yeah, I really like Santiago. So, yeah, this is Will hanging by the pool. Um, <laughs> his hand is so weird that I really have to practice drawing hands because I've been drawing his face mostly, but not really a figure. So maybe I need to do more of that. And yeah, this is some money from Chile. Um, really cool because it has the Patagonian uh, mountains on the back. Let me turn it around so you can see. The mountains on the back there and llamas are really nice money. I don't can't remember how much it's worth because we're going through so many different currencies. I get really confused, but I don't think very much. Maybe a pound. I cut, stuck a coin there. We did a hiking trip to Valprezio which was a little city on the coast. And when we were there, they had this random BMXing Red Bull competition right outside a hostel. <laughs> so I took some pictures of them jumping. And Van Prezio was cool too. If you're in the UK, then it was very much like Bristol and Brighton mixed together in a way. Lots of street art, like everywhere. Um, this one I did with Will pencils, colored pencils. I really like doing the colored pencils actually, like layering them up. He looks a bit like a hobo here because his beard was so long <laughs> and maybe a bit of a hobbit. Yeah, I went a bit crazy with the eyelashes too. <laughs> um, this is a quote I put from the craft um, because I was reading a book um, at the moment about witches and really the medicine women of the British Isles, which is where I'm from, so I'm kind of interested in South America as all the Mayan medicine and shamanic local medicine, and there was also medicine in Europe before Catholicism and before witch burning and before women weren't allowed to be in their power. So this has really resonated with me, and plus, yeah, the craft is a pretty awesome film, I have to say. <laughs> um, what's the book I was reading? about the witches, I'll, put, I'll link below because it's a really good book if you're interested to learn about um, any of that kind of medicine women and ancient knowledge. Uh, this one I really enjoyed doing with the camera, Gringo Willow, this one was on the plane. This is when we were heading <clears throat> to Bogdan and to Panama. And this is a quote from a Chilean poet called Pablo Neruda. Um, the crown and jewel of Alprizio, they're very proud of him. Big, big, um, famous poet there. I'll read you this little quote, it's kind of, kind of like a nice thing to write about the city. Valprizio, what an absurdity you are. How crazy, a crazy port. What a head of dishevelled hills that you never finished combing. Never did you have time to dress yourself and always you have surprised, oh, and always you were surprised by life. So I was really, I really like that. I think it really relates to the city of El Pizio too. And this is just a postcard from there and a stamp that I had left over from Chile. I really love all the different stamps you can get because I like to send postcards home. It's so nice to receive a postcard in the post from someone because mostly you just receive bills and really boring things these days because obviously emailing is a lot faster and free. <laughs> but I still try and make the effort to send postcards home. And now, as you can see by this lovely photo I took, and printed in my sprocket, that we made it to the Caribbean, which I was very excited to get to after. South America was beautiful, a lot of mountains and volcanoes, but uh, I was really looking forward to some Caribbean time, some chill time, sun, beach, the sea. So we got to a group of islands uh, in Panama. We moved to Panama quite quickly because Panama City was just weird. It was kind of like being in the States or something, um, which is a big shock coming from South America. <laughs> Bocas de Toro is a group of islands on, off the coast of the pa uh, Panama, very close to the, the border of Costa Rica, and very beautiful islands, I think seven, maybe eight islands together. And 
yeah, we did some crazy cycling there through the jungle to find hidden beaches. And yeah, it was really nice. And I say I'm very inspired by the colours there, these blues and yellows, like the turquoise and the lemon. That was really big colours all around Bacchus de Toro, like painting the buildings. So I kind of been doing well Caribbean style here. And this is the most beautiful, I'm going to raise it up a little bit. This is the most beautiful lottery ticket I've ever seen. Look at that. Well, I just bought it for the beauty. I don't know if I won. Probably should check that. You know, could be a millionaire right now. <laughs> um, but I just thought it was so pretty. Um, yeah, this is me with my very sunburnt legs. Yeah, really bad sunburn. Very silly kayaking um, around one of the islands. Beautiful thing to do. My first ever time kayaking, actually, and I really enjoyed it. But I didn't put any sunblock on my legs, so I never do because. It, they're far away from the sun and I don't tend to lie in the sun but obviously kayaking the higher up so I got like a second degree burn it was really bad uh, after that I spent about eight days resting healing um, and on the last page here I just had this bit of canvas that I started painting ages ago in Colombia and I decided to stick it on and uh, do a little sketch of the brown pelicans that all around the islands and I was in love with them being aquatic birds like I love ducks so Makes sense, I love the pelican, they're very ancient looking and so regal, I don't know. So I did a little sketch of him, they have like blue beaks and like brown body. And that's it, more stickers on the back of where we stayed in Panama, on the Bocas de Toro. Yeah, yeah, so that's the other third journal, all finished. Um, right now I'm in Mexico, so there will be soon another journal on the way, I'm sure. <laughs> Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video and thanks for watching as always and following me on my adventure around um, Latin America. And yeah, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time.